So, all right, I'm just gonna fade in right here. That's it. Okay, now we're mm -hmm. recording. Yeah. All right. So, Hi. <laughs> hello. Uh, um, so, thank you immensely for agreeing oh. to do this with me. Thank you for having me. Of course, yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess to begin, like, I'm not really sure how I first found your art, whether it was just on Insta Instagram, if it was, you know, I follow some of the, like, uh, Beautiful Bazaar magazine. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of them shared it or something like that. But okay. obviously, <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I was just, like, instantly attracted to it because... <laughs> like your subject matter and stuff like that. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, <laughs> we've, you know, texted back and forth or chatted back and forth, whatever, through mm -hmm. Instagram. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I just, I love it. So, you know, and thanks for agreeing to do the commission for me that I get to see wow. every day. That is... <laughs> That thank is you awesome. For, thank you for asking me to do it. I, I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's great, yeah. great support. <laughs> well, when I um, can, and we'll get to your Patreon too later. Mm -hmm. um, so mostly it was just going to be about your art, obviously. But, you know, I'm also curious about like the financial side of like how people mm -hmm. do how they yeah. get stuff done um yeah <laughs> so i Ash, wonder that too <laughs> <laughs> well it seems you're doing fine yeah from you're my okay. perspective <laughs> yeah you know so i asked you about like the artists that influenced you or that had an impact on you early on um honestly mm -hmm. two of them i wasn't really familiar with mm -hmm. the interesting <laughs> Andrew Zorn and the John Everett uh, mm -hmm. Millers or Millars. Um, but looking at them, I can obviously, I can see, okay, I see, see some influence. <laughs> right. I see, you know, I see your art in there or yeah. their art in yours. Um, mm -hmm. And especially, like you said, especially the Ophelia painting. Yeah. Which I love that one. <laughs> obviously, there's that connection. Yeah. Um, and then, so, you know, later on when I, I'm going to edit the video and I will show the image, I don't understand why people have art podcasts or YouTube channels yeah. and they don't show the art. Yeah. That's weird. Right. Right. It's, <laughs> it just seems like a no brainer. So yeah. I'll show it. So people, so the two or three people that watch this, they will see what art we are actually talking yeah. about. That's good. That's good. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then the Frida Kahlo, you know, what is it about her stuff that attracts you? Well, it's, I don't know, she, she lives such a crazy life with her right. injury and all that. And her, it really comes through in, in her art, the, the pains and the struggles she, she goes through in her life. And uh, I just find that... I don't know. It it touches me, and uh, since I work with the um, the paintings I do are kind of uh, I'm channeling my own feelings and my own uh, struggles and uh, right. hardships. You know, it's uh, I can sort of connect to her. You know, and um, yeah, and also I think her her art is beautiful. It's it's really her course. style was very yeah. different from mine, but I still uh, I appreciate other kinds of art as well. That sells not just the uh, photorealism. You know. <laughs> right. No. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, James Jean, of course, I'm familiar yeah. with him through his uh, comic book cover yeah. artwork. He's, he's really, really good. <laughs> yeah. He, he definitely. Yeah. So you mentioned the other types of art. So you, you do the mm -hmm. photorealism, but I see you also do a lot of other things. You did sculpting and ballpoint yeah. pen. and <laughs> Yeah. So I like it, to try different kinds of things, you know, I don't know. I, uh, maybe just to change things up a bit so that I don't get bored. <laughs> right. Or just, or if I, just get an I, idea. Yeah, yeah. Or if I'm, maybe one day I'm feeling like not quite as inspired and then I'm just going to like do something completely different in another medium and then the inspiration comes back with that. So, 
yeah it's it's kind of hard when you uh, as an artist you're kind of expected to uh, stick to one medium and do one kind of art you know for the rest of your life because you're the brand you know the you have to right. do the same thing you know you're expected to because your audience need to recognize everything you do you know i say oh that's Lenny Astrid of course i can see it you know and so right. i don't know it's a bit I don't know. It's it's kind of boring that it has to be that way because I like to experiment. You know, I think it's fun. <laughs> no, I I mean, as a viewer, we're, we're you know, it's boring for us too. I mean, no. I used to know a guy. Not I'm not saying your work is boring, so don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's not what I'm. But I'm saying um, I've seen people that just do. Um, a certain type of art or a certain yeah. imagery and then i'm like okay you know yeah. like when you first see it you're like oh wow he he or she yeah. you know they're really good and this is really neat and then yeah. 18 months later you're like oh it's yeah, another yeah. one i know right yeah it's like you, you don't want to become that one trick pony who does the same thing over and over and over you know it's i don't know <laughs> Right. No, I think, yeah, we definitely agree. Just, yeah. and of course, um, I'm not going to tell you what to do, whatever. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, so you are um, really active on Patreon. And then, so how do you feel about, you know, there's so many platforms and it, it's, that's a full-time yeah. job in itself. And I yes. honestly think that it works better if someone just picks one like yeah. Instagram and just say, Hey, if you want to find me, here's yeah. where I am. Cause yeah. I, there's other artists I follow that are strictly on Twitter. Like I know, mm. okay. Oh, yeah? if, if she's going to make a post, it's going to be on yeah. Twitter and yeah, they don't have an Instagram presence or yeah. Facebook or whatever. I actually think it's better to just pick one and uh, people will seek you out. The people yeah. that want to find you. Exactly. The, the, the only problem with that is uh, in case something happened with that app or the platform and makes you, I don't know if, if an hacker gets you, for example, on Instagram and you have put all your eggs in that basket, in the Instagram basket, and then suddenly you get hacked and you lose your account and then you have nothing you know that's that's kind of the only reason why i <laughs> i'm spreading out you know different <laughs> right right different um yeah i think well you have your centralized base of your patreon yeah. you know and then from there you can yeah i know i i'm actually i don't have that many followers on patreon and uh, for that reason the last few couple of months it's been uh, it's been hard for me to focus on that because I feel that I, to be able to reach more people, I need to put new things out there. And before I was strictly putting all the new things on my Patreon and I didn't post anything new on Instagram, for example. And that made people not really discover me because I don't have anything new to, to show. And right, I was like, right. was kind of losing followers there. So now I've been putting a lot of energy into Instagram <laughs> and that makes, I don't know, <laughs> I don't have a lot of energy for Patreon, but I have been growing my Instagram really, really well. So it's, uh, it's a, it's a tricky balance. It really is. <laughs> right. It's the balance of, I mean, Patreon, those people are paying. So yeah. you want to satisfy them. Exactly. Exactly. But then, right. Yeah. You yeah. have to, to balance i guess everybody has to figure it out figure out what yeah. is going to work best for them uh, and, it, and it's hard it's like one phase in your life it could be really good to use one platform and then you grow into something else you know i, I recently started using tiktok just to <laughs> see what that was about <laughs> right and uh, you know it's <laughs> it's okay it's not so yeah. bad <laughs> the only the thing with instagram is I don't know how to share anything. Like yeah. my only interaction is if someone posts something and I'm like, okay, I heart it, like it, whatever. And then oh. that's it. You know, yeah. the reason I'm doing this is hopefully I can, you know, I want to 
get your art out there to the best of my meager oh. abilities. Um, but, oh. you know, everybody <laughs> should see your painting. You know, when I did the, on the comic art fans interview, I showed yeah. everybody. Your yeah. art. Um, I mean, I just <laughs> do what I can. Um, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> but yeah, with Patreon too is, you know, I don't have money to just dole out. So yeah. I like your Patreon that you have the levels where if you support at this level, you're going to get some physical art, which I think yeah. um, is something that artists need to do. The only artists that I do support on Patreon, I do mm. get a commission out of it. Yeah, yeah. After a certain period of time. Exactly, exactly. Um, and I, I, I like that about being able to offer something physical you know something they can actually touch and not just like oh look at some content you know <laughs> right yeah i hate that word content too. yeah <laughs> i know right <laughs> i'm gonna go create some content yeah I know. <laughs> i'm a content creator <laughs> i'm so important <laughs> right yes i can talk <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh yeah so are you getting um i guess a lot of people at those levels that you're, does that keep you busy creating the commissions for them? Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, I ha I put some months in the year to to do that. <laughs> I don't do it all year long, but the, the commissions are like, okay, I'm going to do this this month and then I do it and then I send it out. So, okay. so then, then the, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. And then I do, uh, I've done uh, this, um, where I, I do giveaways quite often. So I, I paint, uh, I make like a paint sketch or something small, and then anyone can say if they want it and I will uh, send it to them, you know? So that's like a, an extra for anyone, no matter like what level you're on supporting, you still get a chance to, uh, to win So is that. it the first person that says, hey, I'll take it? Yeah. Or do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it doesn't matter if you if you just uh, pledge one dollar or if you right. pledge like twenty five dollars, it's the same. You doesn't matter really. <laughs> okay, no, so that yeah, that's great. So yeah, even at the the dollar level, that's a heck yeah. of a bargain if you're able to yeah, get. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> of course, it should yeah. be it should be worth it. You know, it's not like yeah. I mean, people are paying, so yeah. Right. No, that's something. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> And I, so the, the paintings then that you're posting on Instagram, what are those for shows or just stuff for you to sell? Or yeah, both, both. And I, I never quite know when I'm, <laughs> when I'm painting if it's, well, sometimes I know, but <clears throat> a lot of times I'm just working on something because I, I work kind of fast so I can complete a <laughs> painting in a, sometimes in a day. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. So I'm just put it aside and then I start something new. And then I'm like, oh, right. I have a show coming up. Okay. I'll take that one. <laughs> if it's not a, a special theme for the show, then I, right. I know specifically what to make, but yeah. And then it's like, oh, maybe I'll take that one and put it in my shop or something. And, uh, yeah. So I like I like to mix that up, like uh, some work to sell and some work through galleries and uh, some commissions in between that. So, yeah. Right. And yeah, you do work very fast. You're when you post on Instagram, you'll post a pencil outline and, you know, do a yeah. <laughs> video of you painting it. And then four days later, you're like, OK, here's the finishing touches yeah. <laughs> or yeah. whatever the time. It's really quick. You know, I was excited when I saw you working on mine. <laughs> and then yeah it was just a couple of days later and then yeah. it's done which is fantastic you know as far as there's the horror stories of other yeah. people can request a commission and pay for it and then can take years yeah and then oh my god that would kill me a, as a, a as an artist if i didn't do anything for for years <laughs> that right. i've been paid to do i would be like oh my god i need to paint this now like i can't <laughs> i can't well, leave them hanging like that yeah it's not that the people aren't working they're just not working on that commission <laughs> yeah 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 exactly exactly <laughs> they're using that money to to be able to work on something else <laughs> right yeah <laughs> so do you take uh, is your commission list then open all the time? 
Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I can always <laughs> find a gap somewhere where I can put it right. in. <laughs> I don't usually close it up unless it's like for Christmas or something. I can say like, okay, I have some slots now for Christmas, but I don't have time to make like 500 pieces. I can make maybe <laughs> maybe sure. 10 pieces, you know. <laughs> so. Right. Again, yeah, when I asked about a commission, you know, I think you were busy at the time and then you said, yeah. wait, and then I was two or three weeks, whatever it was. And then you said, yeah. okay, now I'm ready. Which, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, because, because commissions are so important to me. They are really important for me to be able to survive <laughs> right. and to pay my bills. So I don't want to say, say no to a commission if I don't really have to, you know, I'm, I'm always like trying to, to make it fit into my schedule. Yeah. Well, it worked. I guess the point is, so anybody watching this video, I just want to make sure get a commission yes it's well <laughs> worth it and they are oh. done quickly and then if you they follow you on instagram they can see yeah. their commission yeah you, exactly when you say i'm working <laughs> on it there's the proof right there yeah. you're working on it <laughs> yes <laughs> right um yeah and then so on the patreon if it's like at $25 a month, the lowest one, you can get a drawing every mm -hmm. year, which is great. It, to me, I like that it's, um, it's like a time payment thing, yeah. <laughs> you know, instead of having to come up with all of the money at once, you can just yeah. make the payments on it and then, yeah, yeah. and then you get it at the end of the year, yeah. which is great for art collectors because we're, well, me personally, my money is thin, so spread, and <laughs> hey, it's hard I know, to spread it out. Mine too. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a good way to do, to make like down payments in a way. Right, right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, are you um, getting ready for any shows currently? Oh, or? let me think. I think I've have. Uh, I'm I'm going to send out a piece for the Dark Art Emporium. Uh, wow. that shows and opens in oh god i'm not sure when i think in november it opens. so have you done the piece or yes i have it's it's framed and everything is ready to be shipped but i haven't shipped it yet so i'm gonna do it this week because you you never know with the with the post is you know <laughs> right we have a yeah. post story <laughs> yeah we have <laughs> so I, I i gotta do it now just in case right <laughs> oh Okay. But uh, but apart from that, I don't think I have anything planned until maybe December. If I do one of those <clears throat> shows where you do a tiny piece for like a hundred like bucks or something like that. Right. And uh, yeah, maybe I I'm not sure yet if I'm doing any of those. So yeah, we'll see. But it's kind of nice not to have anything planned for for a couple of months. <laughs> so you should. Yeah. Be I mean, it can be a pro and a con. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, so looking at, I listened to one other podcast where the guy was very astute. He was a, really smart about art. It was a great podcast. Mm -hmm. And okay. you have a link in your um, oh, yeah, Instagram. Yeah. yeah, that guy. Yeah. Whatever. He's probably all handsome and stuff, too. <laughs> But, um, so I like now, you know, you said you started doing the, um, and also read an interview in galleries early in Spain. And then when you came back to Sweden, because you didn't have a degree, you found that a hindrance. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Which is amazing to me, like to look at your art and go, it's really good, but she doesn't have a degree. So yeah i like, know that it makes like no that. sense it's like listening to a really good song and then yeah. going but can this guy read music you know yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> does that matter when you're looking at the end product i know i know i feel the same way it's it's weird it's not yeah it's it's kind of pretentious <laughs> right like <laughs> like yeah well one thing i like where we are now with um, online and stuff, there's less gatekeepers. I hate gatekeepers. Yeah. You can yeah. now, if 
you decide, hey, I'm going to do this. You do it. You just. Exactly. Which exactly. I find it, it's fantastic. You know, you yeah. can do whatever you want, make your own yeah. Patreon or Instagram and just say, hey, I don't yeah, care exactly. what you think. This is what I'm, I'm going to do. Exactly. I love that. That's a good thing about social media. <laughs> right. It's the mm. one good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully there are some good things <laughs> i was looking at your store which is sold out currently i think yeah. do you do um prints or any other thing or do you just do the original art i haven't done prints in a long time actually because it's just too much work <laughs> it's easy for me to just like make a painting and then post it you know and having to deal with a um, printer and because i don't i can't afford to buy one of those fancy printers myself oh, no. right of course uh, i know a lot of artists have those and they can just print whatever size and style they want but um i don't have that so i would need to contact a company who would do it for me and there's a huge expense to that and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of it's a bit risky because you never know if people are gonna buy it or not. <laughs> right? So. Yeah, you have to put come out up front yeah. um, and do exactly. that. Uh, unless you do some print by demand or something, but I don't I don't really have the connections for those. <laughs> yeah, and that's usually just lower quality. Yeah. Right. And they might as well just print it off on their home printer yeah yeah <laughs> i could do it myself right, <laughs> right. yeah you definitely yeah. yeah i don't like that but yeah but i but i really like the fact that uh i don't know that more people can afford to buy art that's really important for me so that's why i do these small pieces and put them up for sale every now and again because i because i don't do prints and people who buy prints often can't afford a big piece or a big original so they they buy prints right and uh, since i can't offer prints because i don't want to <laughs> i just make these tiny pieces and people can buy those for the same amount more or less so yeah i mean well you know over here if you go to a convention you know i'm talking about like the comic world yeah, not, yeah, yeah. not the fine art or gallery yeah. world i don't mm -hmm. but uh you know i just put out that like if you go there a print is going to cost you 20 dollars. yeah or they could do 25 dollars a month on your patreon yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and get an original yeah i mean to me that's just i would rather have an original over a print you yeah, know, me too. Me any too, day of the sure. week. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. just absolutely. And then when you add up a stack of prints, well, you yeah. could have got one original for yeah, that. I That's know. how I got into <laughs> art to begin with. Is, yeah. You know, I could um, buy a comic book for $100 or original comic page for $100. Right? Which right? <laughs> the choice was easy for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know I, I started uh, collecting a little bit of art as well uh, and I started buying prints from artists that I like and that I know a bit sometimes right. and uh, but then with time I was like why am I buying prints they are like I don't know I want I want to <laughs> I want an actual an actual piece of something that someone touched and worked on and like actually I don't know it's, it feels so um, empty with a print somehow. I don't know. I'm not bashing the print industry or anything like that, but or the artists who sell prints, but I don't know. It's just my my own progression. <laughs> no, I, I get that. Yeah. Um, like the, I also, um, I booth at conventions sometimes and uh, mm -hmm. to sell original art. And mm -hmm. usually I have a friend with me at, um, at the table next to me and they're selling prints hand over fist. And yeah. I'm like, and <laughs> nobody's buying the original art, but whatever, if that's yeah. what they want to buy. Yeah, um, what are you going to do? It's, yeah. Have you ever done like a, um, an art trade with anyone? 
Yes, I uh, enjoy that very much <laughs> since I, I can usually afford a big piece by someone. So I, I, I like to do trades when I can and when, when they want to, of course. Right. I've also done trades with the collectors who have been like, oh, I'm kind of interested in that piece. Maybe you like something from this artist because I have this piece by him or her. Oh, that's interesting. And uh, maybe you like that. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's a perk <laughs> of being an oh, artist. Okay. Yeah, I've never heard of an artist trading for yeah. <laughs> somebody else's art with one of theirs. That's... I know, right? It, it happened. Uh, it happened uh, quite a few times, actually. And yeah. So it'll be all jumpy. You'll be like this. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh. Yeah. What? Um, <laughs> so, I guess I get going back to it. Um, I think one of the things also too that connects. You know, you can't. It's hard to separate the art from the artist yeah. at times. You know. And then, so luckily, it, it comes across in your in your posts and stuff. Your uh, your humor, you know. I was reading you did that um, eye on the hand, and you're like, it's very fragile. Don't wrestle alligators. <laughs> <laughs> it would just it just cracks me up that you just throw that one line in there <laughs> instead of strictly, you know, this is made from this. It's you know yeah. this big, that big, and that's it. Well, I'm I'm happy that someone appreciates my sense of humor. <laughs> well, it's funny. I mean, you know, when we messaged, I threw out my humor at you, at yeah. the, and and then you got it, and then you're like, okay, <laughs> yeah, I think we got each other, <laughs> right? So that works out. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I'm definitely gonna I'll put links to your Patreon and the video, of course, and your Instagram and yeah. your web store. That's great. And That's try great. to direct. And then you saw the thumbnail I made. The thumbnail is the best part. Yeah, <laughs> I loved it. I love it. It's awesome. But because it has your painting on there. So. Yeah. <laughs> Which, yeah, people will see. I'm going to put a bunch yeah. of your art, too, in the video so cool. people can see it. Um, awesome. But I want to talk to you when we get done mm -hmm. here. Okay. So... I guess I will say thank you for joining me. This will be nice and short. People, we're only at 34 minutes. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. It's been, uh, I've had a great time. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks for saying that. I'll PayPal you money later. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to cut it off there and then that'll be it. So.